Okay, so moving on. Myth breakers on milk and milk in Ayurveda. We've touched upon this for a few seconds in the morning. Let me call upon uh, Mr. Kuldeep Sharma, Suruchi Consultants, to moderate this panel. And our panelists are Dr. Shobha Odupi, retired principal SVT Mumbai, uh, Dr. Sitaram Dikshit, Chairman CGSI Mumbai, Dr. Hari Bhadoria, Ayurveda Agra, Shri Yachneet Pushkarna, MD Hari Bol Dairy Iskon. I would request all the panelists to please come and take your position in, on stage. First of all, sir, I want to give you the answer. Amritna, sir, is in the middle of the bundo. It's never in the drums. I think your few minutes which you spend and the kind of knowledge which you shared. I think since the morning uh, we have been feeling, I think all of us, whatever is being delivered over here, really fantastic. And uh, as looking at it as if, you know, the by bypass surgery of milk is happening. Milk is getting dissected. And even after being a dairy technologist uh, for almost uh, 36, 37 years now, still I feel there is a lot much to learn, a lot much to look into product like milk. But you know, whatever we talk about milk per se or any food for that matter, I think uh, I was attending some session and there was some expat from some international nutrition agency. They were saying that my priorities while selecting a food is, first of all, nutrition, health, what is there on the label, what are the additives, and then taste. That is my priority. But when, you, when it comes to selecting the food, picking it up from the table or from the market, then taste comes first. I don't know where does the health goes. And most of the things being discussed, I don't know, we, we listen to these things, we, we, this gives us very nice experience. And we feel that yes, from today onwards, we'll be taking care of this. But immediately once we are there near any kind of food, I think we forget everything. So jo mere panel hai, wo, uh, I'm going to keep the secret or unka kya background hai, jab wo aayenge, tab mein aapko bataunga. But the purpose of this discussion or this panel is not to sum up technically, but to sum up everything at, at this level. You know, how are we learning today? The environment around. So first of all, I would like to congratulate all those four uh, institutions, four or five institutions who have taken this responsibility of disseminating about milk. You know, kitne kharaab din a gaye hain ki hame sabit karna pad raha hai ki dood ek achcha product hai. Matlab, I at times feel pity. The industry, if you look at, technically, if you look at historical evidence, then it's more than 6,000 years old. Aur humare liye to, Krishan Bhagwan se hi shuru ho jati hai. Milk being a first food for life, at least for the mammals. If we look at the overall population, let's say 8 billion people, I'm not worried about those people, those 22% people who are vegetarian. Neither I'm concerned about those 80% people who take milk in any of the forms. Neither I am concerned about those one billion people who are hardly getting their three square meals or two square meal or one square meal for that matter. But the whole world today, or and even I am not concerned about those, Janasa was mentioning about those two billion people who are maybe obese. I am concerned about those two billion people who are stuffed and starved. They have, I'm not talking about hunger today. I'm talking about hidden hunger today. My food choices has taken me to a level where maybe my energy requirements are being meant, met, but my nutrients requirement are not being met. And this is a point from where I would like to start. People are talking anything and everything about milk. Milk is not safe. Milk is not ethical. Milk is not healthy. 
Even I have heard people talking about, they are simply saying that, look, milk is not ethical, and whatever you want to have from milk, take a combination of these foods, and you will have all those things. It means, who is giving them such kind of liberties? Social media. Today, our life is governed by social media. There is no censor. If I ask you a very simple question, if India is the country, then what's its currency? Bataye. India ki currency kya hai, itna to bata do. Rupee hai, bhai. And Bangladesh? And Germany? Euro. <laughs> Mark, bad pehle thi. Now I have a question for you. If the name of the country is freedom, then what should be the name of its currency? एक ऐसी कंट्री जिसका नाम फ्रीडम है उसकी करेंसी का क्या नाम होगा यस एनी वन टिकटॉक फ्री मिल्क यस प्लीज थॉट्स वेरी गुड एटलीस्ट यू हैव ट्राइड गुड the country of freedom in which we are trying to live with a motto that whatsoever is west is best the currency in that country is responsibility unless unless you are responsible enough to understand whatever has been served to you no one has got right to accept and imbibe whatever is being served to you on social media. And I'm not generalizing. There are good contents also. There are very good infographics also. And what is happening? So many products are coming, and so many products are coming in the name of milk and dairy. I would like to conclude my opening remarks with an anecdote. I was a picture. I was watching a Hindi. I was watching a Hindi. क्योंकि इसका डायलॉग ना हिंदी में थोड़ा वजन है इंग्लिश मुझे मिल नहीं रही है उसकी थोड़ी ओके okay. जब रावण मर गया तो वो कहीं नहीं जा पाया स्वर्ग में उसे जाने नहीं दिया गया नरक के वो लायक नहीं था सो so, वो तपस्या शुरू कर दी उसने वो तपस्या किसकी करेगा अपने वही शिव जी की जिनसे पहले उसने आशीर्वाद लिया था बहुत साल बीत गए फिर भी उसे स्वर्ग नहीं मिला तो एक बारी पार्वती जी बैठी और पार्वती जी हमेशा पता नहीं वाई शी गेट्स कंसर्न ऑल द टाइम उन्होंने शिव जी से कहा कि ये आप ये जो रावण है इसका क्यों नहीं तारते इसको इतना ज्ञानी था सब कुछ था अब ठीक है छोड़िए जो हो गया हो गया ही सेड इसने महापाप किया है दैट्स वाई मैं इसे नहीं भेज सकता उन्होंने कहा महापाप क्या किया है कहते हैं तो आज मैं आपको पाप बताता हूँ क्या है So, एक होता है पाप गलतियां हर एक से होती हैं एवरी वन डज इट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम छोटे थे बहुत गलतियां हुई एंड ऑल दो गलतियां हैव गॉट थोड़ा आपको इंट्रोस्पेक्शन करेंगे प्रायश्चित करेंगे ठीक हो जाएगा फिर होता है अति पाप अति पाप आप कॉन्शियस में पाप करते हैं आपको पता है आप कर रहे हैं आप चोरी कर रहे हैं आप डाका डाल रहे हैं आप किसी का अपहरण कर रहे हैं उसका भी कोई विधान है उसमें भी कुछ ऐसा हो जाता है कई बारी कि भाई उसमें कोई सजा दे दी जाएगी कुछ रेप्रीमांड है कोई सिस्टम है कोई पनिशमेंट है और आप उस अति पाप से निकल जाएंगे बट एक होता है महापाप उसे माफ नहीं किया जा सकता एंड पार्वती जी सेट कि भाई रावण ने क्या किया इसने तो अति पाप ही किया है अपहरण कर लिया एंड नाउ लिसन टू मी केयरफुली उन्होंने बोला अगर रावण ने रावण बनके सीता का हरण किया होता तो वो क्षमा योग्य था रावण ने साधु बनके सीता का हरण किया वो महापाप है अगर प्लांट बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट्स को प्लांट बेस्ड के नाम से आप बेच के कोई नाम ले लेते तो वो क्षमा योग्य था लेकिन आपने डेरी डेरी की टर्म्स मिल्क हर जगह लिख के आपने उन प्रोडक्ट्स को प्रमोट किया 
वो महापाप है वो क्षमा योग्य नहीं है एंड नाउ वी विल हैव टू लुक एट द होल कॉन्टेक्स्ट 